Hi everyone! For all the new subscribers, thank you, welcome. I hope you are going to enjoy this channel and me and whatever I bring you. And for those who are returning, welcome back. Thank you for holding it down and thank you for just joining me once again. And we are in my kitchen and today I'm going to talk about coffee. So something I like to make a lot is lattes and I know that some people are addicted to Starbucks. Call it for what it is, it's an addiction. Paying $5 to go to get a cup of coffee from your favorite coffee shop every morning it could be a little bit of money. So I have taught myself how to make lattes or like different types of coffee so I can make it for myself and I don't have to always spend money on it. We're going to start. Follow me. So I prefer to grind my own coffee freshly in the morning because it's more potent and it's more fresh. So um, I don't buy the already grinding one. So I'm going to grind this um, Blonde Rose by Starbucks. It's the Verbe was a, a veranda blend. And the grinder that I'm using is the Kitchen Aid grinder. This was one of uh, the things on our wedding um, gift list or whatever. I'm going to use three scoops. Or sometimes it's two and a half because sometimes I don't want it too strong. Then I'm going to cover it. See how it's still a little too grainy? So I'm going to grind it some more and make it more fun. You see the difference? This is much finer. It's not as grainy. You can actually, um, extrapolate more juice from your beans so while that sits we're going to boil our water this is the OXO gooseneck I prefer I prefer the gooseneck because it's easier to pour and you can actually swirl around the filter when you pour. you see what I mean by that so I have it set up at 206 temperature um 206 degrees I'm going to hit it and it's going to start from what the temperature is and then it's going to rise so we're going to wait that for it to rise. Today I'm going to be using the pour over method to make my coffee. There are so many ways and versions of coffee makers that you can use to make your coffee. So this is the pour over by Bodum. That's a French press. You literally put the water, you grind, you press it. And then this is the espresso maker. And that is straight to make espresso shot if you want to make a cappuccino or just do espresso shots. Next time we will do the uh, French press version. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to make an espresso shot, you know, for those who like espresso. So I'm going to put my filter in. I like to use the coffee filters by what's the Meletta, Meletta. I like the natural brown, which means that it's not bleached because most of them are white. That means it's been bleached, and I think that's gross. So I like the natural brown. I get this from Target. Wherever this was two dollars, it have four. It's, it's cheap. So make sure if you have a pour over, you have the one that's this shape because it goes in perfectly you know if you have the other ones you're gonna have to like finagle it to for it to fit so you take it out you put it in and the first thing I do is I wet it I wet it right and I do that because if you can smell it it has a paper scent and I don't want that in my coffee and it'll have you see how it's natural brown and have a little bit of tint? I don't want none of that in my coffee, so I wet it so all that scent and all, a little, whatever color the paper has could get out, and then I would just toss it out. So always wet it, get that scent out, because you don't want that in the coffee, and then toss it out. So I'm going to toss out the water. Back to my grinder. Pouring my grind. With the first um, drop of water, I don't fill it up all the way. I just do this much. to get the potency all in there. So when you're pouring it in, in, right, make sure you go around in a circle to get all the grinds. You just don't want to pour it straight in the middle, right? And I would say if your coffee doesn't have the foam on top, you ain't grinding right. You don't, you don't have you didn't do it right you need to have a little foam on top but always make sure you go around so you can get all the grinds not just in the middle because i just mainly water going in in the meantime while that happens i like my coffee hot i don't want i don't waste any time in between so it get cold i'm going to um steam my um my creamer the creamer i'm using is the almond milk creamer by khalifa 
and I love it. It's a vanilla flavor, nothing crazy uh, with coconut. It's, it gets the job done, you know? So definitely like this, and this is what we're going to be using. So we're going to put, I put a nice amount, you know? We're going to put that in there. It is going to boil, and then we're going to utilize a frother to form it up, okay? So this, it dries out quick. So, you know, how do you know it's time to take it off? I let it bubble just a little bit. Like, this is good, but a few more bubbles, and then we're going to take it off, and then we're going to steam it. You see how chocolatey that looks? That's how your grinds are supposed to look. Like, look at that. It's smooth. They're supposed to be smooth. If it's not smooth, you ain't grind it right. But this is how I like my grinds to look. That means I did something right, okay? First thing I do, add just a little bit. I use brown sugar, so I put just a little bit of it before I put in the coffee because sometimes... If you put in later, it just sits on the bottom, and I don't like that. So I use brown sugar, melt it, right? I'm telling you, I take a while to make my coffee because I'm serious about how I want my coffee. And I'm going to add the rest. And I got this beautiful mug from Anthropology. Shout out to Anthropology. This is the frother. I got this from Ikea. You can get from us, um, get for all these other home places, but IKEA is cheap, it works, and gets the job done. So that's how you froth it. You tilt it and you froth it by the edges so you get the foam that you want, right? Sometimes it's good to just raise it just a little bit. Froth, froth, froth. Try not to be at the bottom so much, be in the middle. So, this is when you're at the bottom, you can hear it against the middle. In the middle, you don't hear it against the middle, right? So keep going a little bit. Try to get as foamy as you can. All right, so that's foamy. And then I do this. So you get all the milk in. All right. And how to do this? Then get the foam on top. And then what I like to do? Some people use nutmeg. But I just like good old cinnamon. Take my grater. Right? Go in the opposite direction where it's raisin. And just shave it on top. And that's your latte. Okay? You made your own latte. You have this before you go to work for breakfast, with your breakfast, whatever. And it's free now. You're not, well, it's not free because you have to pay for the stuff, but it's not $5, right? And just enjoy it.